What is going on, everybody? Christian Bowler here, Bowler Sports Media. Breaking news out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Broke today. Uh, no surprise, honestly, um, at least to me. Uh, Mac Jones has officially been announced as the starting quarterback for Alabama. It was a big competition between him and the five-star phenom freshman guy out of California and Bryce Young. Uh, and I, I have given my thoughts on the quarterback situation quite a bit if you listen to the Tidecast podcast and everything. Um, I, I know it, it's been a couple days since I've uploaded. I've been working quite a bit this week. Um, I worked today. I worked yesterday, Saturday, Friday. I mean, so it's been pretty busy. Haven't found a whole lot of time. But uh, I think Mac Jones deserves to be the starting quarterback, at least to start out for Alabama. I want to see him win a championship for Alabama. This is a guy, and again, I've mentioned this, this is a guy who sat behind Tua Tonga-Vailoa, who's now with the Dolphins, who sat behind on the depth chart uh, behind a guy like Jalen Hurts. I mean, he has been third or fourth string for a couple years, then finally second string quarterback for Tua. Tua gets hurt against... Uh, Tennessee, he's out the next week. Mac Jones gets his first ever start and, and puts up good numbers against Arkansas. I, I I know it's Arkansas, but I mean, regardless of who who he played and how, whatever, you know, in his first start against Arkansas and looking back at that game, he put up really good numbers and did better than maybe some people thought he would. Uh, look at the Iron Bowl last year. I think that's a game we all point to. We, we look at Mac Jones and we say he's a baller. Uh, you know, he's got a heck of an arm. He's got great athletes around him. Uh, Jalen Waddell, uh, you know, this this year coming back, I, I'm not completely sure what the wide receiver depth looks like. Uh, Devontae Smith, I think there's a tight end in like uh, Miller Forstall or whoever. Um, there's, uh, I, I think, a transfer from like North Carolina or whatever. Uh, Carl Tucker. I'll have to look at the depth because, again, you know, all these names you've been hearing. Judy's gone. Uh, Henry Ruggs is gone. Uh, you know, all those guys are gone now. So we're looking at some new faces even at the uh, receiving position. But uh, it was announced today that Mac Jones has officially been named the starter for the Crimson Tide this year. I'm not surprised. Uh, I think he's earned it. I, I, I really think that he is the guy that can – Prove to lead this team to a championship uh, in 2020. Now, is Bryce Young a better athlete? Most likely. But I think Nick Saban is not only looking for talent, I think he also wants to make sure that his quarterback has the leadership, has the passion for it. And I think Mac Jones has all that. I think now, again, there is a chance that maybe at some point, Bryce Young does take over. We've talked about this quite a bit. I've talked about it. Uh, you know, people have asked me, what, what are your thoughts on the Bama quarterback situation with Bryce Young? You know, is he going to start? You know, a, a few months ago when we thought we would have a normal college football season, they were, uh, Bama was originally scheduled to play Georgia week three. Now that's like week four or five uh, for this weird SEC only season. USC was the opening game. And, you know, I, I said, I said, I think Mac Jones starts out, but maybe within a few weeks, you look at the Georgia game, uh, you look at how it's been with those two teams with backup quarterbacks, maybe that's when Bryce Young maybe comes in and proves himself. I think you'll have a starter named then. Well, I mean, this weird pandemic and everything and how college football has gone to conference only and now the Big Ten starting later or whatever, uh, you know, it, it's a little different. So I, I do like Mac Jones this year. I think he has, I think last year to me, he proved that he can be a leader for this offense. Of course, it's not up to the fans. It's not up to the athletics. It's up to Coach Saban. And I think Coach Saban has spoken quite a bit about Mac Jones and his leadership ability uh, to lead the Crimson Tide. And I think he is the guy that can lead Alabama to a championship this year so shout out to mac jones for winning the starting job 
pulling for Alabama this year, obviously. Roll Tide. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see uh, what happens and where can Bryce Young be used. Again, Bryce Young said he does not mind waiting, you know, uh, to start. I mean, Mac Jones probably gone after this year, going to enter the draft. So Bryce Young will have at least two or three more years at Alabama to get some film and, you know, put some points up and just be the quarter, the next quarterback uh, for Alabama. So, shout out to Mac Jones. Congrats on winning the starting job. Looking forward to some football and uh, roll tide. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. All that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Till then, Bauer Sports Media. Checking out. Have a good day.